right, we are back and I have configured it to work with the mouse. So, hopefully, not only will it be better, significantly better with a mouse than I would be keys, but, you know, now we won't have the whole turning of the screen thing. When the moon is full and the trees are bare, walk through the cemetery if you dare. When skeletons, where skeletons rot and corpses fester, locate the scoot tomb, the skull of a jester, feed him a token or shiny and new that is in the car and evil will return for you. There's proof I memorized it. Finally, hey Kaz, why don't you finally do a stream of yourself, dude? I noticed your Discord doesn't have anything in that slot. They or may not be still eating. Token all shiny and new. It is then that Carnival will return for you. Hey, Dust! Thank you for the subscription, dude! Thank you! Dust? Dust. You know you're an awesome person, dude. I'm working! <laughs> How dare you have a life? Boo. Boo! Stop having a life! Stop having a stable job and upward moving career! I'm at work now, even. Oh shit, all my shit's turned off because I panicked and. Waiting for me to start, dude. This is the second game. Holy shit, thank you for the five tier one subscriptions, Kaz. Thank you, dude. I love you. Oh my god, Ink, Paw, and, 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 and Karunas, and Manic. I now know everyone who's lurking. I now know. <laughs> Thank you, Kaz. Man, Sinnoh's gonna be chirping for a little bit now. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kaz. Multicolored Dapple. Now I know you're here, too. Ooh. No, everyone's here. Oh, wait. Uh, that button. Alright, um, we're gonna go back in the order we were, and now you get to see me with a mouse. What goes up must come down. Hello, Umlaut. Now you're headed for Rickety Town. Ride all the rides. <laughs> That's right, it's my birthday. Have some fun. Then eat your heart out on a sesame seed bun. Thanks, E. <laughs> Alright, sorry, thanks, Manic, the Inkling. Sorry, I read Inkling, and I'm like, what? Okay, so Alt is still reload. See, much better. Because I'm actually able to aim and not using keyboard. It makes a difference. By the way, this game came out in December. And away I go to do more work. Oh, you're just missing the Christmas part. Take care, Cass. You take, uh, have fun at your job of standing there and looking intimidating. I won't. <laughs> I mean, I've had a job where I basically stood there and looked uh, not intimidating, so I, I get yeah, man. It's the Big Bunion ride. Cass, thank you for dropping by. You take care now, and feel free to lurk whenever you get some downtime at your day. Because I'm going to be going, hopefully, for the rest of your shift, dude. I probably should recalibrate my gun, but it's too late now. Ooh, 
I hear you like dinosaurs. I hear you like dunking dinosaurs in acid. Woo! By the way, if you get motion sickness, this genre is not for you. Even though it's one of the smoother camera genres available. I say we're gonna keep going, game. doing his own thing in the back. Stop jacking off in my food, asshole. Telling you now, birthday dinner, eating a burrito from Chipotle's. It's the Garg. Would you like to exchange car insurance? That was my first death. Didn't I tell you I'm much better when I can fucking aim and not use keyboards? Val? No, wait, Val went to go eat. Val, when you get back, it's something to show you, buddy. I may or may not be bitter, you making fun of me. Motherfuckers. It's July! By the way, I would like to point out that I hate the whole Christmas in July concept. Because isn't it bad enough that we dedicated November and December to Christmas in terms of holiday tradition shit? But you go to the store, and they'll have... Christmas stuff in November and December, and sometimes even October, and by sometimes I mean every time. So hell, they'll have it in... S but then they'll be like, oh, it's Christmas in July. Don't you want Christmas supplies in July? No. Who wants Christmas supplies in July? Weirdos? Like, I get it. It's a fun holiday. But if you celebrate it year-round, it's not gonna be, like, the special holiday that you like to think it is. I blame capitalism. Like, at least this game has an excuse, even though it's clearly meant to be a Halloween game. It came out in December. It makes it not age as well, too, because then there are people who play this, not knowing the context, are going to be wondering why I'm fighting Santa right now in a game about evil clowns. Last I checked, Santa wasn't usually an evil clown, just sometimes. And now he's dead. My accuracy is still shit, though. <laughs> That's good to know. Alright, then we're going back to the haunted house. We pretty much got to the final boss last time, but, you know. To the house. There's a level we can't do without finishing all the others, so. Fucking love Umlau. It's Zandies! Oh, I'm sorry, they're ghouls.
Stop throwing your food at me. It's gross. You already chewed on it. This is fine. Aggressive hugs. But yeah, if you shoot her, she immediately dies and you lose a health. Even if you're trying to rescue her. It's Hambone! Literally, give me your quarters if you haven't already, boss. Thought I was kidding? Look at this. Look at this! He's just eating away my health! That is literally the point of Hambone. If you paid enough quarters to enter this ride. I got shot. Bam! Bam! Really? Bam. Yeah, don't even bother with headshots, honestly. I like this picture right here. Ah. Well, again with the food, sir. Spiders. Yeah, I hope you lovelies love spiders like I do. I'm not afraid of them, it's just... Actually, out of all the things to infest my house, I'm glad it's wolf spiders rather than, like, something actually dangerous or cockroaches, which I still get, but that's because it's summer and the geckos haven't eaten them all yet. Stop scratching my face! It's rude. A beautiful face. Hambone, the revenge! I don't even know what these skulls are supposed to be. Just go with it. Just making soup. Like, I'm gonna make me some soup. Oh, someone just shot me in the back. Why? It was vegetarian soup. I'm the vegetarian zombie. Hey, hello there. Would you like to hear about our faith? If I'm running from monsters, the roof is not the smartest place to go. I'm gonna be honest with that. Just why would you run up the stairs to begin with, let alone to the roof? Where your foot? That's something that happens in horror movies all the time. The people are being chased and they go up the stairs to the roof, and this is the part where uh, someone points that in in uh. Video games that run up to the roof all the time while being chased by monsters. I love how they're just staring. And someone's in there. Because normal Marie was copyright. I mean, it was already taken. Yeah, by the way, I hope you love the upskirts. I remember right, she actually caused some controversy. Like, obviously, it's because she's sexualized in a horror game, but, you know. And 
doing that. Yeah, you just kind of keep shooting at her breasts and her cooch and everything will be okay. There's jiggly boobs! I know, right? And this was before boob jiggles... Boob jiggly physics got, like, at a good place. is still god awful. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that jiggly boobs physics before jiggly boob physics was a thing. One for the whole family, time for the freak show. It's the freak show, the freak show. See the strange and bizarre. Step right up, we'd love to see you. We think you could be the star. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Freak Show! Really? Like, I love seeing all the signs and stuff. It's Flapjack! God damn it! See, that's what happens when you kill her, by the way. And it's one shot and she's dead. In typical fashion, you lose a life. Get it? It's a spider monkey. I love how they sound like Goofy too. Shucks, guys. Donald, we gotta go save the world from the darkness. Well then. deal with real life maggots these mean nothing to me but i like really don't like maggots in real life now like i was camping with uh the girl scouts and i found these crawdad uh legs and i like to collect neat little nature things like i was just dancing um so I picked up these crawdad legs that were eaten by like a raccoon or something and I thought it was the coolest thing. They had no meat on them. So I thought it was fine and I just put them in my backpack and forgot about it. And then when I got... And then when I got back to the camp, I opened up my backpack to check, to look at the crawdad legs and show them off. And there's like this little wiggly worm that's white and I'm like, oh no. And I had to throw it out in, in like a napkin. They made me do it because it was my fault. So like learning experience kind of thing. And I noticed as I was throwing it out that it tried to get into the crevice of my fingers holding the napkin rather than be in the sun. And I found that very fascinating. Like I was terrified of it because, you know, bot flies and all that shit. But, you know, seeing that happen in front of me, I think that changed me a little learning experience kind of thing. I would never eat one. But they're not as scary as, like, wasp and shit to me. By the way, these guys like getting freaky. Look at these guys. Like, you never realize how sexual this game is until you're older. How bad did you want some fun? We have such sights to show you.
Hey, buddy. See, they're smiling. They're having fun. Except that guy. He's missing some teeth. But most of them are smiling. See, that guy's smiling. He's having fun. room before it's revealed. No one wants to guess? Don't hit me with your head nail. Oh, there's like just a big exit sign. Fucking spider -Man. Mary? Mary was in the last level. Okay. So normally, the boss here would be Junior. But I went into the options and changed it to Daddy because Junior's just gross. Daddy at least is interesting. Normally, it's a big baby. Like, literally just a huge-ass baby that's gross to look at. I greatly prefer Daddy. So I changed it in the options. Because babies are gross, to be honest. Like that. That's why he's gross. so that if a place didn't was offended by it, they didn't have to make it where you kill a baby. But honestly, I just, like, like I said, I like it because Junior's just gross looking. You can look him up if you want. Seizure warning. Yeah, this is like a fried baby in the action in the normal version. Like by default. Get ready for the final level. We made it to our main attraction, the three ring circus in the big top tent. We hope our clowns will entertain you before making you the main event. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hello! This game about scary clowns finally has clowns! Damn it, girl! Oh god, no, not the mimes! By the way, the mimes are just mimes. Seriously, they're just mimes. They don't attack you. They're just creepy. <laughs> I love that so much. The mimes are just mimes. They don't attack you. You're just expected to attack them before you notice. Because, you know, mimes. Honestly, 
Where did the circus find so many little people wanting to work for them? Yeah, these are supposed to be poodles, by the way? I'm sorry, what? killing the mimes. I'm sorry. You guys want me to kill the mimes? God damn it. I didn't need it anyway. Proof our character is insane! I'm gonna jab you. Yeah, I hope you don't have a fear of heights, by the way. And there goes everything. So many broken ribs. Don't worry, the nurses are here. They want your brain to put it in a giant gorilla. Boomlot is a kissers. <laughs> You do not obey. Prepare to die. <laughs> Sounds reasonable, I know, right? Hello, Umlaut. How you doing today, buddy? I hear you're a good kisser. Stop eating me. Where do you shit if you have to eat? Because if you have to eat, you have to shit. I'm just saying. They never address that with, like, ghost monsters. Why is the evil guy French, though? Actually, he's vaguely German, but they do, like, weird French-isms sometimes with him. It's weird. You gonna surrender? Bye, him out. But yeah, he's supposed to be German, even though he does some French-isms. Because it's not a horror game without skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons. Shivers down your spine. Just go up here. Stop teleporting, asshole. And there's health, like, right there. Or Germans. This high. I'll be the same motherfucker. Fuck. I would 
love some fireworks. Come on, dude, I love fireworks. Gimme. By the way, I'd like to point out that the girl being present uh, is canon in the story, which is unusual for games with uh, characters you can kill like that. And you lose life. Obey me! I don't know why you would, but do it! Yeah, this is the part where they just, like, take all your quarters. Remember when I said our main character was, uh, crazy? Does she teleport or something? How does she end up in so many places in such a short amount of time? I mean, there is magic running around the place. Who knows? Hell, she's dead several times. Oh, uh... This is a very interesting way to do the whole name thing. I missed the ending. <laughs> How did you miss the ending? You were right before it and right after it. Oh, by the way, in a really weird move, there's no credit music and these credits go on for like five minutes. I guess because it's meant to be an arcade, so you would go on and listen to arcade music and shit like that so they don't have to worry about sound. But it's really, really like in your face when you emulate it. So with that in mind, most people, uh, when they do Let's Plays and stuff, they'll put like, um, what was it? What's that song? Uh, The Greatest Show on Earth, the song. They'll have that, uh, playing during this time, and I think that's very fitting. That's like the song version of this concept. Because I looked something up for a sec. Aw, oh, man, you blinked. Why did you blink? Shouldn't have blinked, dude. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna take these credits as a moment to uh, finish eating my lunch and then put my food away. So, you guys enjoy these uh, silent credits. If I remembered, I would have put music or something for this scene, but I'll enjoy the silent credits while I uh, take care of shit. And then I'll be switching over to the next game, so don't panic, but after the credits, you'll probably see a chill screen.
Oh my god, it's still going. I went and got watermelon, expired watermelon, don't ask, and came back, and it's still going, and still completely silent. So, I mean, is it at least, it's not even doing pictures anymore, I'm gonna call it. Dio apparently worked on this, though. Alright, so I'm gonna go over to the chill screen, you're going to see, thanks to all, tr I mean, truly believed our family's friends, and it's kick ass. Big bunion writers. Um, so I'm going to go back to the chill screen. How can a watermelon expire? Did you just ask how a fruit can expire? I'm eating it anyway, though. It doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, uh, unless clown. Venice. Alright, um, Gonna switch over to the chill screen, gonna switch emulators, and, um, we'll be playing, I believe, the Lost World next?